hello. I hope you're doing great. You look absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining me and my channel. And today we're going to do this awesome painting. I'll show you step by step on how to do this oil painting. And let's go ahead, rock and roll, and uh, I'll see you at the end. Take care. All right. I thought we'd start today with the colors running down below. And I'm going to go ahead and use a one inch brush and tap into or just pull out some white, not even tap into it. Just pull out some white, just load it up, just like so. And we're gonna come up here and start, start rocking and rolling. And I'm just gonna come in and just start making some nice little swirls. Just some nice swirls, like so, okay? I'm not doing much, I'm just, just swirling, like so, okay? And what I have here is a 16 by 20 inch black canvas, as you can see. And what I did is I, applied uh, Bob Ross liquid clear and just keep this moving okay just keep it moving but I applied a very very thin thin amount of liquid clear all the way down the canvas and then I added a small small amount of my phthalo blue just just enough to kind of tint the canvas and so when you add the white as you can tell it picks up the blue and you just get this lovely lovely color and I'm not doing much just swirling and moving the brush around moving it all around just like this no rhyme or reason but you want to leave pockets of dark okay just want to leave some pockets of dark come just like that maybe we'll add a little bit just a little bit more right here just like that like I said I'm not doing much just like this and I'm just moving, moving the brush and keeping, keeping it rocking and rolling. Really hope you're doing good on your end. And thank you so much for, as always, for viewing and checking, checking this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and I'm just gonna grab a two inch brush. Let me make sure it's nice and clean, nice two inch brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just start, start blending. I'm just doing very, very softly these crisscross or X stroke just very very softly just blending pushing pushing the paint around a little bit and just just letting it sit into the canvas just letting it sit into the canvas and then very softly go across and there we go just like that all right I hope you're doing great you look awesome by the way just wanted to let you know Let's go ahead and use a palette knife. We're gonna mix up some dark color. Let's go ahead and just grab ourselves a little bit, a little bit of this, that's a little too much. There we go, a little bit of the crimson. We can just put it right here. Some of our black and a little bit of our blue. And I'm using Mars black and that's phthalo blue as well as the pink stuff right there. And you go ahead and just scoop it up like so and plop it in there. Let me scoop it up one more time. And just smush that right on it. Whoop. Always knocking stuff, rubbing canvases, hitting, hitting the wall right there, you know? But anyways, you're gonna go ahead and just pull yourself up. There you go, nice, nice roll. Well, let's go ahead and make some mountains. So when you're doing this, just come up. You're just gonna push it. Just push it right in there just make yourself a mountain only thing you're worried about is just this top top edge okay it really doesn't matter the middle so much okay we'll take care of that when we do when you do up some highlights well you want something like so so remember pull your paint down grab yourself a nice roll and then just come in and grab your grab yourself a, a nice roll and just come in and do something like this and you're, you just just scrape it off okay don't have to worry too much about that. Don't have to worry too much. It will come in, do something like this. I don't know, something like that. And just scrape that out. Scrape out all that excess paint. Maybe come in. That's a little. I just want to fix this right here. You can change it however and make it however you want. I just want, there we go, just something else. 
There you go. Just to give you a little bit more definition. Just like I said, just scrape that right on off. Use a two inch brush. We'll go ahead and just, just pull this paint right on out. Just like that, okay? Just come on in, just pull it down. There we go, just like that. Do something just like that. There we go. Okay, let's put that down. I'm gonna go ahead and use my small palette knife, this is number five. Let's go ahead and make some color. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white and I'll come right over here and grab some brown, which is the burnt umber and some of my burnt sienna. Just mix that in there and make a nice color, okay? Pull it out, grab yourself a nice roll, nice small roll, we're gonna come up and, and highlight this, okay? So I'll just start over here, right over here and just come in and just start to highlight this and let it let it break and do its do its thing like so, okay? And all you're doing is you're just pulling your paint down, going straight down, grabbing yourself a nice roll, and very, very softly just come in. Just come in very, very softly. And put in. Put in your mountain, okay? It's just the softest touch. It's a bit, you know, it's said it before, it's like skipping a rock, skipping a rock on a pond, you know, if you just throw it right in and it just goes condunk, it makes a big old splash, but if you just skip it along the pond, it will just skip along the pond, and that's what you're looking for, and you get that nice, nice breaking, and that's how you get it to break. You also need good paint. If you don't have good paint, it's just not going to, not going to work for you, it's not going to break, okay? Maybe we'll get a little bit more over here. Maybe something, something like so, straight down. And maybe something like that. Grab a small roll again. And we'll just come in and do something like so. And there you go, you've got some nice, nice breakage. Let's go ahead and clean that knife. Let's make a nice little shadow color. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this crimson. Let's make sure we have enough. So I'll put some crimson, touch of this blue. Let's make it a touch more. Let's make it a little bit on the bluer side. Maybe a little bit more, just a little at a time. I'm barely grabbing paint. I know it looks like I'm grabbing a lot. I'm barely grabbing. Scoop that up. I think it's going to be a little bit on the red side, but we'll grab some white paint. Throw it in there. See, it's a little, a little too red, okay? So we'll grab a little bit more of this blue. Maybe a little bit more red because now it went a little bit too blue. And that should give us right there a nice color, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and pull some out. And let's go ahead and just put some shadows in, okay? So I'll start over here since this is where we started, it's a little bit further away. And you just do the opposite, okay? Just come in. And you do the opposite, okay? I've got a little bit too much red in here, so I want to go ahead and, and do this. You can always change. If you don't like something, just change it, okay? You're not, you're not glued in at any point, okay? Just come in and just pop some highlights, okay? Here, there. You want to leave some of that dark. Leave that dark. It makes it look real deep, okay? And we'll come in over here. And same thing. Very, very softly, just on the opposite side. There you go, like that. And then maybe, maybe right here, we'll just do something like that. And maybe.
maybe over here. Just like that, okay? Let me go ahead and clean this. Let's go ahead and clean that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of this white to add a touch of this blue into there. Just a small amount. Just a small amount, just to give it some some color there, a little hue, a little, just something, so it's not so plain. Grab yourself that nice roll. Remember, pull it straight down like that. And let's come in and just start. Start putting in maybe some snow at the, the bottom, at the edge, okay? Yeah, it'll maybe just touch more of that blue. It's a little, a little too bright, a little too bright, okay? Maybe a touch of that mountain color that we made. Just a small amount. Just a just a gray and dim it down. And grab yourself a nice little roll and come back in here. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. There we go. There we go. You can come in. All types of things. Give it different action, different movement, okay? Maybe it'll come in. Like so. Let's go ahead and put in maybe a little bit more of this brown right in here. There we go. Maybe a little bit more over here, a little bit more of that brown. Just remember, just bounce it around. Imagine, you know, the, these things are all, these things are all in your head. They truly are. You just gotta, just gotta bring them out. Just gotta bring them out. Okay, we got a nice, beautiful, beautiful looking mountain going on right here. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and clean that knife. And let's pull out that two inch brush. And just tap a little bit down here at the base. Just a little bit, just a, just a little bit. And then just blend it in. There we go, just like that. Blend that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And I want to grab. I think I'm gonna grab a, another one-inch brush. Just tap, tap one, two times. And we're gonna come in and just. And you see how bright that white came out? And I'm trying to make mist. So very, very softly, you're gonna come in and start to put your mist in. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Same thing as you did up here, okay? Same thing. There we go. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit into the mountain. And just keep, keep that moving. So you saw that, just one or two taps and it gave me all that, okay? so. It's very, very strong. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with the black canvas. The paint is, it just pops right out. It just pops right out. I'm gonna put this down. I'll just grab this. It's a dirty little brush that we used earlier. I'm just going to, I'm just doing these little X's real softly. Real softly, okay? I just want to, Kind of missed it a little bit better and just get rid of all the tap marks from tapping it in. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Let's go ahead. Let's put a little bit more of a little bit more clouds in there. Okay, same thing. Tap. And then same thing. 
Just add in a little bit more, a little bit more of my clouds. That's all. Just gives you another layer. That's all that does. Just gives you another layer. Then I'll put that down. Grab that two inch brush again. Oh. Hair. There we go. And sorry for the easel bouncing. There we go. Just fluff that up. Fluff that up. And there you go. Okay, with your palette knife, this is the mountain color that we used. It was crimson, a little blue, and a little black. Let's go ahead and just scoop some of this up and make a little bit more. So once again, it's a little bit, a little bit of your pink stuff, a little bit of your black, and a little bit of your blue. About equal proportion, to be honest, with all of it. And we just want a nice dark color, okay? So scoop that up and pull it out, clean your knife. I'm going to grab a number three fan brush. Let's go ahead and just load that up. And I'm just going like that to load it up, chisel it, make it nice and sharp just by wiggling it. And let's go ahead and make some, make some pine trees. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to start putting in a nice row of trees, okay? And because you have that mist behind it, this sticks out, otherwise it wouldn't stick out because it's black. These are all translucent colors that we use. So if you put it on the black, it's just gonna look black, okay? But because we have that white misty in the background, it, it just allows us to go ahead and get these guys in there, okay? And so I'm just, just pulling it down like so. And just pulling it down, there we go. There we go. And I'm just gonna put that all the way across like so. Right into, right into the mist. Right into the mist. Okay, let me go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna grab that two inch brush and I just want to just kind of push it into the into it, there we go. Just something like so. And I think I just want to add a little bit, maybe a little bit more right there. So I'm going to get a little bit more of my color. And I'm just going to come in and just just come in and get a little bit more. There we go. And push it like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that that two inch brush and same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Actually, I'll, I'll use it. just want a little bit of mist. So I'm just going to tap into a little bit of that white again and just tap that, tap that right on in here. Maybe a little bit a little bit more so it sticks out on your end. There we go. And I'm just gonna start lifting that up. There we go. And it makes it nice. Nice and misty. There we go. little hair there we go let me knock that off yeah I'm gonna go ahead I think this would be a nice time to put maybe maybe a mountain or a, not a mountain but a uh, maybe a cabin or something right there so I'm gonna go ahead and use I'll just use my small palette knife and I'm gonna go I'll just use that ah, I'll say yeah I'll just use uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go right into my dark brown excuse me so the dark brown for today is my burnt over. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull some of that out. And yeah, maybe we'll put it right here. 
Maybe we'll put it right there. So let's go ahead and put our corner in, grab some more, and we'll come in and just put the line for the roof. Just like that. Grab a little bit more. And there you go, you're just blocking for right now, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead, and let's say there's gonna be a window tonight. So I'm gonna put the window right there. And I'm gonna come in and grab that same color that we were using for the mountains. I'm just gonna scoop some up, mix it like so, just add just a touch a touch of that black in there, okay? Grab some, and we're just gonna start putting this on. So I'm just gonna come in, and I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. Just tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Make it nice and easy. Just tap, tap, that's it. Just tap it on down, okay? Now I'm cleaning my knife, and right here, what I want is I'm gonna use a little bit of this white. I'm gonna use the small side, okay? A little bit of the white and some of that blue. Okay, and maybe just a touch of that black. So you have wh white and blue. I'm using the small side. There we go. Just go like that so you can get yourself a little, little roll, okay? And we're gonna come in and just pretend there's a little window right here. And then, like that, okay? And we're doing it backwards. We're doing the roof, the window, and then we'll go in and do the boards, okay? So I'm gonna grab a little bit, a little bit of this black. Same thing, use the small side of your knife where this is the, not the black, but this was our, our tree color and the mountain color, okay? And grab yourself a small roll, using the small side, and you're gonna come in and just kind of bounce that, just slightly, there we go. There we go. And so it kind of reflects everything, okay? And let's go ahead and just put in, for right now, just the, just the window, like the dark side in the window. I forget the, uh, can't think of anything right now because my mind. But let's go ahead and just put in the window. There we go. A little bit better. There we go. It's a little rough, but it should come out once we put the board on here. It's a little bit easier to do it this way. And so I ha just have the dark and then we'll go back and highlight and it should, everything should pop out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use this flat brush and come in. Let's go ahead and mix, mix up some color. So I'm gonna use my palette knife and I'm gonna grab, uh, Grab a chunk of my sienna and some brown and a bunch of my crimson. You get a nice kind of pinky brown color. Add a little, little bit, a little, little bit of that white. Clean your knife. And I'm going to grab that flat brush. I'm just going to go ahead and load up. I'm gonna come in, the light's, I think, coming from this way, so this part will be tough. So you're gonna come in and put in, and put in your, your stuff here. Okay, now you can use a uh, filbert brush if that's all you have. You can use your palette knife. You can use your fan brush, whichever you want. But we're going down to the window 
This is why I wanted the window in now. So let's bring that down. There we go. And then I'm going to come over here and the same thing. It's always tough because of your angles. And then you just come in like so, okay? And then I'm going to add just a little bit more of the brown, which is my burnt umber, right into here. Let me add a little bit more, just a little bit more. Just want to darken it up. And we'll come back over here and do the same thing. And there you go. Okay, so you have your two different colors that make make it all, you know, here's your light side, so here's the side of the highlights, and then here's your shadow side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a liner brush. And I'm just gonna dip that into, pardon me, a little bit of my paint thinner. And I'll just go right into this white and the blue, and just kind of gray it a little bit. Maybe just a tad more of that darker color there. And I'm just going to come in and I want to put in my highlight. And of course my hand shakes, so but yeah, you get the point. I mean it's going to be a little bit rough. It is what it is. This is my weak point here is my shaky hand. And you come in and just put that in. go and then the window and then here we go shake your hands so I'm steadying it by holding my my palette and you can get something that will hook up and you know but it takes the fun out of it so I kind of like the shaky hand there we go There we go. So in there, you can barely see it, but you have some blue and you got the black. And so the, hopefully the window kind of pops out for you. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start, start having a little bit of fun here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think I'll just use a fan brush, number three fan brush and start, just start having some fun here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull out, pull out my white. And I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to start having some fun. So I'm going to come in, and I'll wiggle this in here. There we go. And it gives you all this little depth. There we go. There you go. So you have all this different depth and stuff like that, okay? And we'll do the same thing over here. Grab a little bit more. And let's just say, I don't know. Something like so. And go ahead and just fill that in. Okay, and let me go ahead and use a two inch brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just, just try to smooth this out a little bit. There we go. If you have soupy paint, if you did this, it would just smear all over the place. But because the paint I use, which is the Gamblin 1980 oil paint, of course, it is a nice thick paint and it does stay on here. So it allows you to be able to blend.
There we go. And as you're doing it, just smooths everything out. Smooths it all out. There we go. Now let's go ahead and maybe put some, maybe put some water right here. I'm going to go ahead and just tap in a little bit of the blue and go into the white here. Maybe a touch more. And let's go ahead and just Just make that some water and we'll go ahead and kind of darken it up a little bit so it sticks out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and just stick a, go right into the blue here. Now let's come in. Maybe a touch more right, right here, just like that. Straight down and then across very softly very softly now let's go ahead and we'll add a little bit of dark just tap into I'm using that same dark color that we made and just come in and that might be a little bit too much if you think it's too much just rub some out and we'll see and then we'll come in and just I just want little 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 streaks of dark in there this way it kind of picks up a little bit of the background trees And I'm always on an angle, so hopefully this is coming in straight. Hopefully this is coming in straight. Let's ah, see that went a little bit too dark, so we'll go over it. There we go. Go right over it. And because I did dark here, I'm gonna have to darken it up here in the corner. So there we go, just like that. Straight down, like I said, straight down, and then very softly, very softly, rock that thing across, so straight down. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and use that fan brush that had the white. And I'm gonna go ahead and just I just want a little bit of a snow drift. There we go. And then come in and put our land back in here. There we go. Let me uh, just want to thin this out slightly. Add a little bit of my paint thinner. Go into my white. A little see how it's running it's way too thin way too thin so grab it there we go still too thin see how thin that is I grabbed way too much let me wipe wipe some of that off okay that should be a little bit better there we go and I just want to come in I just want these Looking for like a little bit of a kind of a drift. Yeah, you go ahead and blend that out. It's just too, too thin. Let's blend that out. Let me go ahead and clean this real quick because it's just too thin. If you have issues, you just got to work around it. You don't freak out. So I'm not going to freak out right now. We'll go ahead and correct it. So I'm just going to get some more of my paint. There we go. Something like that. There you go. There you go. Something like that. So it's nice and like you just got this nice snow snow drift. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use this blender brush just to soften it a little bit more. 
There we go. Just to soften it. It'll help get some of the uh, little bit of a scratchy marks that I get from the fan brush. Usually those are really good when you have it, but not today. Don't need it for this. There we go. There we go. It's a nice blend. I think that's pretty wicked. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just clean that side up a little bit. So I'm going to grab some more of this white here. And I just want to come in and just There we go. There we go. So just so that it kind of pushes the other stuff back, okay? And the same thing, just real soft. Just gonna use the two inch brush. Real soft and then There we go. And we we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and put that down. We'll grab this liner brush. Dip into a little bit of that paint thinner. And we go into. Uh, let's go into this dark. And yeah, I just want to clean. Clean up the edge there. Let that pop out a little bit. Maybe right here. There we go. I'm going to use that same dark. Same dark. And I'm going to come back here and do the same thing. I'm going to put something like that so like there's water going back behind there. And I'm come in and do basically the same thing. Just come in and put your land. There you go. And you have all that detail back there. Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to go ahead, just for fun, I'm going to grab that palette knife, use the small side. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a little bit of this. Ah. Maybe we'll just do straight black. And make ourselves a nice little chimney. Just straight. Straight black. Straight down, best you can. Nice chunk of paint right there. There you go. And I'm gonna use, I'll use the same color here. Pull it out, grab yourself a nice small roll and just come in and try to highlight this. There you go. And I'll grab a little bit of the white. And I'll touch. There you go. Trying to give it a little bit of depth, some depth, some definition. And let's go ahead and clean that out. And go ahead into my white. I'm going to add some of the black into it, just a touch. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get a little bit of smoke here. Just like so. I'm going to clean that. I'm going to use that going to use that blender brush real quick. I just want to soften this a little bit. And by doing so, it just kind of miss this. And then I can move it. Move it around. Isn't that awesome? It's pretty cool, huh? 
There we go. This one, there we go. Just trying to get the sharp little, little edges to pop out. There we go. It's nice. I really like that. Okay. And I think with that, let's go ahead, grab that liner brush, grab that paint thinner. I'm going to go right into that same dark color we had. Make that nice and thin. Get nice and thin. And I just want a little shadow under here. There we go. And the same thing. Apologize to hit the camera. And the same thing right here. Just a straight line if I can. There you go. And it breaks it up for you, okay? And then just for fun. Ah, just for fun. Ah, maybe not. I don't want to overdo it. Don't want to overdo it. Let's go ahead and I'll just go ahead and sign it for today. There you go. Let's make sure this paint is thin, as always. And it will slide right on over this for you. Thank you so much for checking this out. And if you made it this far, thank you, as always. I appreciate the support. And I uh, want to wish you the best of luck. Until next time, please take care of yourself, okay? Stay safe. Bye-bye.